so today's video is about arterial system okay so this is not at all like uh, your complete video this is just the key points of arterial system so if you want to like revise this topic then this video will be helpful for you okay <clears throat> so let's start quickly so uh, the arterial system the theory which i am going to explain here with the diagram so it starts with arch of aorta okay so this is arch and uh, this is left ventricle and uh, the arch ascends then it becomes arch and then it descends so this is your aorta okay now here you have to learn about one mnemonic okay very basic mnemonic a b c s a b c s a b c and s so a stands for arch of aorta and b c and s stands for the three branches of arch of aorta which i have drawn here okay so b stands for brachiocephalic artery c for common carotid and s for subclavian artery so these are the three branches of arch of aorta which you can learn by a b c s arch of aorta brachiocephalic common carotid and subclavian now common carotid and subclavian are left okay now i will tell you later about the right common carotid and right subclavian now we have more, some more branches from brachiocephalic artery and subclavian artery and common carotid artery okay they have sub branches so now here from brachiocephalic we have right subclavian vertebral branch right vertebral branch and right common carotid so this is your right side and here is left side so left vertebral branch and right vertebral branch okay and this is common carotid which gives external common carotid internal com common carotid okay left and right so you have two pairs external and internal common carotid from common carotid artery okay so these three are your basic arteries of arch of aorta from which we have several branches okay brachiocephalic common carotid and subclavian so this is your very basic okay now let's see what happens here okay so this is a rough diagram of circle of villus which is situated in your brain okay so these arteries these connect with circle of villus and these actually make circle of villus so we'll see how so the right vertebral branch and left vertebral branch they communicates and forms basilar artery okay two vertebral branches arteries joins to get to form basilar artery okay so this is your basilar artery right here circle of villus okay so now external common carotid and external uh, common carotid right and left they gives out eight eight branches and the internal common carotid right and left both okay they form posterior communicating artery along with one another artery which i will tell you right here <clears throat> okay so this is your anterior communicating artery and i have written already posterior communicating artery so this is your left internal carotid and right internal carotid okay and uh, <clears throat> this point which i have marked here this is from inferior okay so this comes from base of your brain this is anterior cerebral artery this is middle cerebral artery and this is posterior cerebral artery okay very easy nomenclature and similarly these three arteries are located on right side okay names are same just the right side now internal common carotid artery right along with posterior communicating artery okay so yes this posterior cerebral artery with internal carotid artery right makes posterior communicating artery 
right here okay now let's come to the arm okay your arm region so i am going to draw only the right side the left side is the similar okay so one partition is in first rib and another is teres major muscle and then we have cubital fossa so subclavian artery after first ribs is called axillary artery and after teres major is called brachial artery and at cubital fossa brachial artery divides into two radial artery and ulnar artery so and this is your palm okay so here is superficial palmar arch now it, and here is deep branch of ulnar artery here so this is a very rough diagram you would have to consult your anatomy book deep palmar arch right here okay superior superficial branch of radial artery okay now you see here i am going to write the superficial branch palmar branch of radial artery along with ulnar artery gives superficial palmar arch and the deep branch of ulnar artery along with radial artery gives deep palmar arch okay so superficial palmar arch and deep palmar arch <coughs> now these arteries they gives rise to metacarpal arteries and which ends up in digits arteries on your fingers okay so this is your arm arm forearm and hand a very quick summary if you will okay now let's see about the <coughs> thorax region okay so arch of aorta here we have ascending aorta right then we have the arch and when we have the descending aorta now descending aorta in thorax so here it becomes thoracic art aorta thoracic aorta it's called the thoracic aorta okay so let me just put this aside <coughs> now at diaphragm thoracic aorta becomes abdominal aorta which have its own branches which i will tell you about in another video okay because this is just a catch up so abdominal aorta we have two branches left common iliac artery and right common iliac artery so left common iliac artery is the terminal branch of abdominal aorta okay now coming to right common iliac artery it divides into two branches which further divides into two more branches okay so here is just a diagram and uh, this is external iliac artery and internal iliac artery okay now we have anterior division of internal iliac artery and the posterior division okay now external iliac artery after inguinal ligament it is called as femoral artery because we have femur bone there right so it's quite obvious and then femoral artery at popliteal fossa it becomes popliteal artery okay very easy now it further divides into posterior tibial artery and anterior tibial artery and anterior tibial artery at malleolus becomes dorsal pedis artery and posterior tibial artery becomes common peroneal artery and an arch median plantar arch and lateral plantar arch so this is your foot okay so this is about the lower limbs right so this is basically your whole arterial system a quick summary of the arterial system in brain okay and then we have the arm and forearm and your lower limbs okay so it's a quick video so thank you for watching i hope it helps